I'm part of a generation of Africans who were uh, listening to to a lot of um, African music, at least for me, Southern African music. Um, everything from ben Brenda Fassi to Chico to um, mm. even Hugh Masekela uh, and Miriam Makeba. We were listening to a lot of pop, African pop music. Okay. Uh, which at the time was called Bubblegum. Um, and and so I, for, for me, it's, and then we were also listening to American music, you know, Lionel, like I learned my, my learn English from listening to Dancing on the Ceiling, uh, by, <laughs> and, and, okay. and, and also, you know, Whitney Houston of, for sure. Uh, and then British music as well. So we're, I'm influenced by all of that, but mostly, uh, and also church music, you know, um, traditional music and church music. So I think um, it's like an Afrofuturism. Um, it's been used before, um, but uh, it, that I think that would be the closest. If I, um, I'll hit you back when I when I <laughs> get a better <laughs> a better uh, yeah a catchy name. title exactly exactly. Okay. So you yeah. mentioned, you mentioned, uh, uh, influences yeah. on your music. Mm -hmm. Um, how much of your culture per se, other artists, is there also a lot of social commentary? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about some of your songs in just a moment, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, when you're, when you're creating songs, when you're being mm -hmm. creative, mm -hmm. how, where do you, where do you, where do you think you get most of the influence from? Yeah, I, you know, I think um, I get a lot of influence from just life experience. I mean, growing up with Brenda Fassi um, and Yvonne Chaka Chaka, you know, in, in, in like adjacent uh, apartheid, apartheid being, you know, we were in Botswana, we were, Zimbabwe is right uh, above us okay. and, and, then, and then South Africa is right below us. And, and for those of us who are kind of border people, those people who live closer to the borders, our families, we have families that are bo in both countries. And, right. and so you find that apartheid is still within the system, within people's bodies, you know, uh, even though they no longer live in, they don't no longer live in those countries where apartheid is being enforced. And so, so, uh, uh, it, you can feel apartheid, you know, and, and we had a lot of white South Africans in Botswana. We had a lot of white Zimbabweans in Botswana uh, who knew, who only knew how to act within apartheid and they would treat us that way. So, and then the music also reflected, like even though uh, there was, Brenda Fassi would, would sing songs of like, you know, touch me baby. There were also other songs <laughs> that were, you know, uh, I was caught breaking the law, arrested for breaking the law. You know, like, who's that man calling me stranger in my land, my, mo my motherland? Who's that man telling me go in my land and my mama land? You know, that, 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 is, that is the environment we, that we grew up in. Um, and, and so I think for, for, for me, that, that impacted me that I love to dance and I wanted, I want songs that can make you bop, but I also, it, it do, doesn't always have to be a kind of social commentary, but um, if, um, uh, because I think music is healing regardless. 